Hey, Michaela here, and I promised that I was going to make new videos of old ones that I want to make a little bit clearer and maybe a little bit sunnier too. This is a remake of my most popular video right now. It's, it used to be titled How to Counter Splitting and Understand Relationship Triggers, but what I've noticed looking back at that video is it's actually more about emotional hijacking and it's specifically about this sense that moments of misery, like when we get in them, can feel like all there is. It's actually something that we all do. I think those of us who are more emotionally sensitive can be even a little more prone to them. And there is another video that I have on emotional flashbacks that can give you another, another viewpoint, another context. So if you're experiencing a moment of like really intense like misery right now, go over to my emotional flashback video linked below and I'll talk you through it for a few minutes and then come back to this video because I want to talk with you about a way to actually get a wider perspective on your life and actually get um, collect good moments basically that you can bring into these, these moments of tunnel vision. So let's just talk for a minute about emotional hijacking. I touched on it a little bit, but it's basically like your mind and your memories get hijacked and they get hijacked by a feeling or they get hijacked by a sense of a theme. So for example, say that you're prone to a kind of shame spiral where something happens, you feel criticized or you feel vulnerable in some way and you end up in this terrible pit of shame. And what happens from there is it's like there's this file cabinet that opens for you and it's titled shame. And guess what? All you can find in that file cabinet is shame. There's nothing nice in there. There's nothing redeeming about you in that file cabinet. And even if you try to touch on good memories or accomplishments, it might be that it's almost like those memories are rewritten because this file cabinet is titled shame. So everything gets rendered through, through that filter as another way of looking at it. So this can happen with all kinds of emotions. It can happen with shame, it can happen with anger, that can actually move into rage when you can't find other perspective from there. Like when you have a moment of anger and you start remembering everything that you're angry about with a particular person. It can happen with rejection or a feeling of like, I'm going to be abandoned somehow. And you can start to actually remember all the losses that you've experienced in relationships. And that's a whole network that can feel really, really difficult to get out of where you're not remembering maybe the, the friends who've stuck close to you or the people who still really love you because the abandonment rejection file just really brings more, more memories of that kind of thing. Or even if you're in a really loving relationship because the abandonment file is open, that fear is just so strong. It's going to happen again because that's the file that's current. So what I want to talk with you about is like, how to start to build a collection of other kinds of moments. How to really, if we use the file cabinet metaphor or analogy, which is an analogy, I think, how do you find another file cabinet? How do you have it at the ready so that you can actually find another kind of memory, another kind of moment? And how do you start to get um, a broader overall perspective of yourself so that these negative feelings aren't just taking over so often? So my idea on this is that in these moments, it's like you've got a tunnel vision that's very narrowly focused on one thing or one theme. And what we want to do is help you to actually get some distance from that kind of moment. We want to help you to get some perspective and to be able to look around and see more if this is tunnel vision. One of the things that people encounter that makes it really difficult to widen their perspective is that when this happens, when they're hijacked, they get stuck in a sense of an eternal now. So it's not only like this feeling is the only feeling I can remember, but like this kind of moment is all there is. It's all there's ever been. It's all there will be. It makes it really hard to orient other kinds of moments. So how do you orient another kind of moment when you can't remember them? You build a, you build a kit of souvenirs. You build something that you can go back to, a physical representation of other kinds of moments. So what I want to support you in doing is finding your own way, maybe several ways. How do you collect souvenirs? How do you collect mementos? How do you have a list or pictures or something that works for you that really, really can bring in other kinds of moments so that when you start to feel hijacked, when you start to feel ashamed or you start to feel unlovable 
or you start to feel angry and like people never support you. How do you have something nearly at your fingertips or on your YouTube playlist, something that you can pull up that can remind you that there's, there's more in your life than this. There's more to you. There's more to your relationships and there's more to your feelings and your overall perspective. So I've talked with people who've had some really good ideas on this. Some people have kept a list of um, a list of good memories, just a list saying, hey, this time that my partner and I were at the beach and had this really great time. Um, you want to make them actually as specific as you can, though. So if you start to even just list moments that you felt validated or moments that you felt affirmed or moments that you felt joyful, or secure in who you are, or if it's largely a relationship trigger that you're running into, a list of times that you really concretely felt kindness coming from that person or that group or whoever it is. It can really, really help you to be able to get other, other perspectives. So lists are good. Some people really like taking pictures, building scrapbooks. If you're a millennial, you know, this is a, this is a camera load on your, on your phone. <laughs> Title it, title it joy or title it connection, title it something that can remind you of, of what that's all about so that you can pull it up. YouTube playlists of songs that actually really feel empowering or that are linked with good memories because music links us very, very quickly to moments that we felt differently and you know this if like you grew up in the 80s say and you hear an 80s song and you're suddenly transported to that moment. So. It's a little trick. It's a little way to just get you a little bit more perspective so that you're able to gain more, more of a wide angle view of your life and your relationships. It's a tool to help you counter that sense of an eternal now and remember other nows that we're very different from right now. So future videos will have more tools on this and more ways that you can really start to change this pattern. I look forward to talking with you soon.